Hi everybody, I hope you guys are good. What's good in the hood? Uh, my name is Roa and welcome back to my channel. I am in the Isuzu D-Max. D-Max, eh? Bangi. I'm in the Isuzu MUX. <laughs> I'm in the MUX 3 liter turbo diesel um, again. I got this car back in July and by chance I got it again so that's why I decided to do a video review. Um, and yeah, I wanted to show you guys, I'm delivering flowers quickly uh, before we get started. And look at how cute they are. It's a huge like okay. So I'm in pink and they're pink too. Oh, how adorable. Got that. So yeah, um, you know, you know the drill. Uh, we are the outside, the inside, and then we are going to do a full verdict uh, of the car. So keep it locked. So here's the MUX. It is a seven-seater, and it has been redone completely onto the fascia. As you guys can see, you have this gorgeous, gorgeous grill with the sword-like stripes going across it, and you have very narrow narrowish headlamps dead and which have leds and yeah finished in this really really cool santos brown color and yeah. the car does sit on 18 inch wheels and is finished in a santos brown color i'm just going to head over to the rear and show you guys the electric tailgate i do love like the stance and the length of this vehicle and i'll chat more about it as you guys can see you have the mex detailing on the rear head the rear lights here look at how cool it looks from the back um, so i really do think that the car is very pretty i love how bold the mux badge is over there and it shows that the three liter td so that's absolutely stunning and i'm just here's the key as you guys can see it's just a basic Isuzu key and i'm going to open the boot for you so it has an electric tailgate as you guys can see there is some stuff in the boot as per usual uh, my bags are there and some other nitty gritties and the other two seats are down there as you guys can see the other two seats are on the bottom over there um, so you can just easily latch them up if you need to use them but other than that this is enormous boot space for all your luggage your groceries and things like that and what's cool is that instead of having to press this button all the time you can also just use the key again and it'll respond will it yeah <laughs> i was taking a chance more like Right, so you guys have seen the exterior i'm just gonna run you through the interior. so when it's in the five seater get up you guys can see that there is plenty leg room look at that yeah no the car is absolutely spacious and you have speakers that are over here and here so your rear passengers are good and the quality in this car is actually quite good guys the stitching the finishes and everything i'm very happy with it um it feels very very solid i do think however that these light things are dated like you know this is just old school guys for a car that's basically new this is quite old school even these vents that's calling on a bit anyway and i really did like this feature because i was able to charge my router um as i was driving today so you have two usb ports at the back uh, this is also good for traveling and for your occupant at the rear so i just plugged in my router and i was able to connect my phone and um, take a meeting and stuff like that so very 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 useful so the good quality materials extend all through the front but i do think this interior is very dated for a brand new vehicle and i can tell you why the hazard did you come out of this bottle like hazard the eva more now let me like a scramble if if there's something happening for the hazard like this is i don't get it i don't get why it's here like couldn't they put it like somewhere you know more reachable i'm just gonna show you guys the interior i do find it a bit dated because you still have the analog um you know like you know you this car is like so new updated like fixed up and whatever and then you still have this analog maybe in the onyx version you have a digital cluster but look at those graphics also like they're quite old school for me and but anyway the quality is good so i can give it that like i can give it points on quality but uh, it's just a dated sound system for me i mean look at that an analog and digital clock over there you have the calendar like whoa buffet <sighs> hmm yeah but yeah here are your gears 
and yeah this is just basically all there is to it i do love a multi-function steering wheel so it's quite easy to use i like that um so yeah let me just give you a full verdict so the isuzu mux is a three liter turbo diesel engine that produces 140 kilowatts to 450 newton meters of torque and the price is 795,000 rand which is around the price of the rivals um you can get the Toyota Fortuna 2.8 GD6 for that around that price and the I think the 2 liter bi turbo Ford Everest for that price also so it's in the same region it's just that this is a bit of a lower spec you have a higher spec called the Onyx now my full verdict on this car this is my second time driving it and you know I've always asked myself in such a segment where those cars that I've mentioned the Fortuna and the Everest are so loved in South Africa will this one have a fighting chance i say yes and i say no at the same time no because it's quite dated and two isuzu is a brand that you can very much associate with workhorse so not necessarily lifestyle like this you know the fortune has become a household name because albeit it's a hilux it's a ladder chassis setup it's a hilux basically underneath people still buy that car because it's a fortuna and it's toyota and toyotas literally outlive you and they're indestructible you know so fortuna will always have that knack everest the reason why i think it's so successful is because that engine is amazing and the quality is amazing in the interior and it's really 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 a, a, a well-rounded product the mux could be a catalyst or could be a pioneer or a challenger to these cars if it just had a bit of a better interior for me and yeah just a bit more effort because like you guys can see like you still have the white roof lining a bit of a data thing you know maybe in the onyx it's better like i say mara you know here it's neither here or there so obviously you guys are probably wondering do i find it better than the fortuna and the everest i find it better than both of them in terms of fuel on this tank you can get about a thousand one hundred kilometers and it's literally that accurate that i've done it before when i had it in july i did a thousand kilometers on one tank filled it up just towards just to just before it's aman right um so that's the selling point on this one that this engine is actually absolutely amazing in terms of fuel secondly i like it over the fortuna because the gear changes are smoother the fortuna's cha gear changes are cranky like they jerk you like these ones are quite smooth right and the fortuna what i didn't like about it is that you feel like you're carrying the back two seats like as you're driving like you're hauling something like this one doesn't feel like that it feels very light on its feet you know for a car of its size and its magnitude it feels very light on its feet and yeah that's why i say that this has the advantage over the fortuna in terms of the everest everest fuel economy for me is just this is the outgoing Everest guys not the current Everest that we, that's coming in now the fuel economy in the Everest night killed me when I had it so no <laughs> so yeah but I think in terms of in this segment if I have to literally rank them I'll tell you number one is the Everest number two is the Fortuna number three is the MUX and number four from what I've driven can be the Mitsubishi Pajero Sport the Pajero Sport I didn't like it because it was dated it was also clunky and ugh. so yes a lot of people do frown upon Bucky based SUVs especially like ladder chassis so these were like cars like this like your Everest and your Fortuners and your MUXs because they feel so ugh, like workhorse like you're laid in Garwaspana you know like all those stuff um but actually they're not quite bad um so I really do recommend uh the Fortuna if you want something that's super super reliable obviously because it's indestructible but I think that if you have the money for these vehicles buy the Everest I'm sorry to Isuzu I love you guys as a brand I think but I think the Everest trumps it trumps this car by far and i'm just being honest about it so, so that is basically it about the mux um yeah i really did enjoy my time with it drove it twice this year every time it's always a good time it's decent i mean the sound system is also great you have a lot of usb ports quality is good all these safety features and taken stuff whatever albeit a bit dated it's easy to use it's functional it's practical 
so it's a very nice car so i really did enjoy it so yeah um i think that's it for me it's just gonna be a short one it was mainly just to chat whether this is a worthy rival between the everest and the fortuna and i think it is it just needs a bit of like sprucing up no it just needs a bit of pizzazz you know it needs a bit of like norox and yan if you get what i mean <laughs> so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and so for the support we are on almost 4300 subscribers hopefully we get to 5000 soon um it's almost my birthday uh my birthday is on the 8th of november so gifts are welcome um in any shape of in any shape size or form gucci bags ted baker bags uh macbooks e-wallets flowers balloons the ice cream the pie everything is welcome <laughs> like anything guys like yeah so i am a bit anxious i'm turning 25 so i'm entering my mid-20s um and i've been in this game for three years like jesus christ it's been a while man like it's a walk, it's a walk, really but yeah anyway um it's not the end of the road in terms of this year i do have a few other cars lined up um so you still have a bit of seeing me on youtube until maybe the end of november and yeah so yeah hmm i really do like the mux though there's something about it that really touches my heart and also i have a lot of attachment to it because of that reel that we did that i just wanna be close to you the reel we did for it when i got it the first time i'll link it below so you guys can see it i love that song and when i saw that video and how it blew up on socials i was just like oh, man at least i'm doing something right in this career so i really do the emmy x will always have a special place in my heart in terms of that reel how it catapulted my content creation skills if you guys get what i mean so yeah um that's it from me very short very sweet um like i said retails for 7.95 um zero um you know you know the drill if you want an mux go to your nearest isuzu right <laughs> yeah so you guys i need to do my hair before my birthday yeah, i'm just so glad this one didn't join happen gila ba mfisa ka relax ba to yeah kana ko ke dile lo zaza le le mthe guys i'm pretty of a nerd now <laughs> anyway guys um thank you guys so much for watching please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and if you're new to my channel welcome please do stay please do like do subscribe do share to a friend of a friend of a friend of a friend of a friend and yeah um i'll see you guys in the next one